There has been a lot of talk amongst New York Rangers fans talking about whether or not the Rangers should trade away one of their star core players this offseason to get some change into the lineup and really kind of swap things around. So in today's video, we're going to go one by one through each of the Rangers star core players and kind of talk about whether or not it's realistic to see one of them possibly traded away, whether they should or should not do so. So let's start off here with a pretty obvious no to not being traded, and that is Igor Shesterkin. This guy is a superstar top tier goaltender. He is going to be going into the last year of his contract this upcoming season in 2024-2025, but I'm sure that we will see a contract extension happen at some point throughout this offseason as Igor is a true top tier goaltender in the entire NHL. He is one of the best, if not the best, especially when it comes to the playoffs. He performs at an elite level, a truly elite level. He is absolutely amazing. And I do not see any possible way of seeing him traded away unless he completely came out and said that he did not want to stay here with the Rangers, which does not seem like it's going to happen. It seems like he wants to stay here long term. The Rangers, I'm sure, want to keep him long term as well because he is such a good goaltender. He is a massive, massive part of this team and a true factor in why this team has made to the Eastern Conference Finals two of the last three seasons. So I do not see Igor going anywhere. I see him being extended at some point throughout this offseason. Next up here, we have another player who is not going to be getting traded, and that is Adam Fox. I think it's pretty obvious there. He is a true top-tier caliber defenseman in the entire NHL. He is a Norris Trophy winner already throughout his young career so far. He's only 26 and still has five more years left under team control, locked up with this team with a cap of $9.5 million, which for what he brings is not too bad at all. He is phenomenal. Like I said, a top tier defenseman, one of the best in the entire NHL. He's also a right-handed shot, which just adds a little bonus onto there. I mean, he is just so talented. He's not going anywhere. He is the true kind of number one defenseman on this team. And it is hard to get a true kind of number one defenseman on any team. And the fact that we have one is very, very special. And he's also still very young. So it can get better. And although didn't have the best playoffs as he was hurt, and it did come out that he had a mild MCL sprain throughout the playoffs there, which isn't too much of a surprise as it did kind of seem like he was not playing really anywhere close to 100% health, which says a lot because he wasn't even that bad in the playoffs at all. He was actually pretty solid for the most part, but for what he normally brings, you kind of tell that he was not playing near his top tier level. And that definitely explains why. So he's a phenomenal player and definitely is not going anywhere on this team anytime soon. And now another player who has no chance of being moved really at all, and that is Alexi Lafreniere. He had a massive breakout season this year in the regular season and in the playoffs. He showed that he can really take his game to a whole new level and still has star slash superstar potential. He is the top kind of young guy on this Rangers team. I mean, Fox, he is kind of 26 years old, so he's necessarily a kind of young guy. Not necessarily. I'm talking about more like, you know, the under kind of 24 guys. Alexi Lafreniere is the future of this forward core. He will not be moved. He is a massive part of this team going forward, and he does have one more season left under contract with a cap of $2.325 million. But he also is next offseason in RFA with arbitration eligibility, so we could possibly see an extension happen this offseason at some point. If not, it will be next offseason, which I'm not quite sure what will happen there. They may want to wait, you know, both Lafreniere and the team to kind of wait and see what happens next season. But either way, he's probably going to be a Ranger for a very, very long time. Next up, we have Vincent Trocek, who is locked up for the next five seasons, which he's under contract for with a cap hit of $5.625 million. But let's be honest here, this guy is not going anywhere. He is an absolutely phenomenal two-way center, plays a great offensive game, a good defensive game, can be a tough player to play against at moments. He's a very just talented all-around centerman. He's a big reason why Panarin and Lafreniere had two great seasons this year, and he did as well. I mean, that whole line was phenomenal. He's a big part of that line. He's a massive part of this team going forward. He's still only 30 years old and under contract for five more seasons at a very, very team-friendly contract. I mean, this guy should be making more like seven, seven and a half. He's making obviously 5.625. Honestly, he could make an $8 million and I would not be too against that. So for what he's bringing right now, his contract's amazing. He's a core player of this team going forward. He seems like a good leader. Honestly, I wouldn't mind seeing him be the next captain if we did see Jacob True believe this offseason or next. I wouldn't be against that at all. This is a fantastic fantastic player who I want to see on this Rangers team for a very long time. Like I said, he's also got a full new move clause as well, so he's not going anywhere either way, but I definitely would not want to see him traded away. He is a fantastic player and definitely a part of this team going forward for the next long while. And now let's get into the guys who actually have been talked a bit about by Rangers fans about possibly being traded. The first guy here is Artemi Panarin, who personally 
Whether the Rangers fans want to see him traded or not, I really don't see being moved at all. I mean, I know people have talked about it, but he does have a full no movement clause for the last two seasons of his massive $11.6 million contract. I don't see him waiving that at all. I don't think he's going to want to leave. I don't think the Rangers front office honestly want to try and trade him because you're not going to be able to get phenomenal value back for him either way. And I just don't see it happening. He is the, the face of the franchise or one of them. He's obviously a super of a guy. Had a phenomenal record this season. I mean, he is one of the top regular season players in the entire NHL. And I definitely understand that the fact that he definitely hasn't shown up when it's matter most in the playoffs at moments. He has moments when he looks fantastic, but... For the most part, throughout the playoffs, he has not been that superstar kind of guy that he is in the regular season when going into the playoffs. He has his moments when he kind of goes quiet, which is definitely a big issue for this team. We need our star players to show up in the playoffs when it matters most to really try and win a Stanley Cup. And he, along some other guys as well, have definitely struggled at times to do that. So hopefully we can see him you know, take that big step up in the playoffs that he has done in the past in the regular season. Hopefully we can see that go into the playoffs because that exactly what this team needs. But like I said, I do not see Artemi Panarin being traded away, even if some Rangers fans want to see it happen. He's got two years left. He's going to stay on this team for the rest of that contract. And next up here, let's talk about Chris Kreider, who once again, I do not see being traded just like Artemi Panarin. I think he's going to finish his contract as a New York Ranger. He has quite a few records on this team. He's a true New York Ranger. has been here since his NHL career got drafted by this team in the first round a while ago. He's obviously been on this team for a very long time. He's the longest tenured Ranger. He's not going anywhere. He's under contract for three more seasons at a cap hit of $6.5 million. And he does have a 15-team no trade list that can kick in this upcoming July 1st. So maybe the Rangers kind of you know take a look at that. But I don't see it happening. I don't think he's going to get moved here. Although his no moving clause does kind of end here and the no trade clause kicks in with a 15-team no trade list. I really and truly don't see him being moved. Like I said, he is a lifelong Ranger born likely. He could very well be here for the rest of his NHL career. And I know what happened with Lundqvist there. We kind of thought that was going to happen there. He goes to the Caps for that little stint there, but obviously it didn't work out with his health condition. But either way, I think Kreider's probably going to be on this team for the rest of his career. I think he's still a very good player. He has his moments where he is absolutely amazing in the playoffs. I mean, you take a look at that game six there against the Canes there, getting the hat trick in the third period. I mean, that was very, very clutch. He's a very good player. And I just don't see him being traded at all. Although, yes, he does have his moments when he shies away in the playoffs. He's still a very talented player and still is a very important part of this team going forward. And the last star core player on the New York Rangers we're going to talk about is Mika Zibanejad. Now, this is a very interesting player. He has moments when he's looking like one of the top forwards in the entire NHL when he's hot, but he also cools off in moments when he's you know not producing much at all. 5-1-5, five five, isn't he doing most of the work in the power play? Even cools off a bit then. So he's an interesting player there. I think he's still overall a very solid player, you know, for the most part, around a point per game. Plays a really good two-way game, good defensively for the most part, you know, good penalty killer. I think he's a very solid center. Eight and a half million dollars. I get it. You know, he has six more years left under contract at eight and a half million dollars, but a full no movement clause up until 2029, 2030 in his last year under contract when there's a 21 team no trade list at the deadline. So it's very interesting there, obviously. He's probably not going to get moved. I don't see it happening. He hit the waves, no movement clause, which I don't see happening. He's going to be on this team more than likely for pretty much the rest of this contract up until maybe the last year of this deal of deadline possibly. So I don't see him being moved at all. He's going to stay on this team for a very, very long time, more than likely the rest of this contract, but if you like it or not, I understand people wanting to see him moved away because he definitely shies away at moments, especially in the playoffs at times, but he also has done really good in the playoffs at moments as well. So he's a very inconsistent player at times, but definitely is still a very talented player and will be a big piece of this team, hopefully going forward for the next long while. And honestly, just kind of wrap this video up here. I don't see any of these star core players being traded away. I don't see any of them being moved. I think they're all going to stay here for the next two, three years at minimum. I think these are very talented players still. Some of them, yes, have their deficiencies come playoff time when they go inconsistent there and don't show up for the most part. But a lot of these guys are still very, very good players. I mean, all these guys are still very, very good. You know, top six caliber guys. Most of them are top line caliber players. I mean, Igor Arnett is one of the best goaltenders in the entire NHL, if not the best, especially come playoff time. You can't really find a better goaltender than him. We got Fox. He was a top tier top kind of defenseman in the NHL. One of the best. You can't find much better than that. We got some great forwards here. Some young guys as well. I mean, Lafreniere, he's absolutely phenomenal. This is still a very good hockey team. They finished top four in the entire NHL this year. You know, making it to the conference finals there. Obviously, two teams in each conference finals there. Rangers had a great team this year. Are probably going to lose to the, obviously, the Stanley Cup winning team and the Florida Panthers there. So, not too big of a deal. They're a great team. They obviously are a very tough team. Hopefully, the Rangers can figure out a way to beat these kind of tough teams 
and really made this team a whole lot better. That's what Chris Drury's job is now this offseason to try and find the right pieces to go around these guys to really make this team a true Stanley Cup winner. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. It helps out the channel a ton. I would really appreciate it. If you are a New York Rangers fan, don't forget to subscribe for daily New York Rangers content as I do post every single day. And also don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on these star players. Who do you want to see moved? Like I said, I don't see them being moved, but let me know your thoughts on these players. What kind of moves do you want to see happen this offseason? Thanks for watching. I really appreciate all the support you all show. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.